this year has been even more challenging than usual. We are like drowning over here. And our workload is so magnified. These teachers all work at different CCSD schools, and they all told me distance learning has been overwhelming and compliance training is one more time consuming task. We usually have to watch about 16 videos and they vary in length. I'm not sure I've never added up the total time, but uh, if I had to guess, I'd guess around 16 hours. Arborview math teacher Jeremy Christensen has been a teacher for 18 years. It's the same video every year. So why, why would any normal human being need to watch that 18 times? I'm in my, and I'm going to teach here 12 more years. They have updated some of them, but there's not a ton of new information. My wife is also a teacher. Uh, most of it ends up being on our own time. Science teacher Robert Hollowood told me the videos are relevant for someone who's new to the district or if someone violates a policy. He suggested watching them every few years, like when they renew their teaching licenses. Otherwise, he said it's redundant and inefficient, especially this year. These things could uh, wait until eventually we're getting back into the buildings, especially the things like bloodborne pathogens. What do you do if you come in contact with blood? These are are not things that are relevant to our situation at this time. A spokesperson with the school district told me these videos are necessary under state and federal laws. They also said they did an overhaul of the videos three years ago and shortened them to three hours. But Christensen said more still needs to be done. It's hard now too because there are so many other issues that we have that are probably more important in the big scheme of things. But to me, this should have been handled by people a long time ago.